Virtually all cases of cervical cancers are caused by human papillomaviruses, or HPV. More than 100 human papillomavirus types have been characterized. Although most anogenital HPV infections are transient and resolve spontaneously, they can also cause benign or malignant changes of the skin or inner lining of tissues, known as mucosa. These morphological changes range from warts and other low-grade lesions to invasive cancers of the cervix, vagina, vulva, and anus. The life cycle of HPV begins with infection of epithelial basal cells. Following infection and uncoating of the viral capsid, the viral genome is transported into the nucleus where it exists as an episome. Expression of viral early proteins results in proliferation and lateral expansion of basal cells. Following the movement of infected basal cells into the suprabasal layers, late viral genes are expressed while early gene expression is shut off and the structural proteins L1 and L2 form. In the stratum corneum, viral particles are assembled and released with the shedding of mature epithelial cells. These infectious particles are then able to infect other basal cells. Low-grade intraepithelial neoplasias in the mucosa of the cervix, vagina, or vulva are described histologically as cervical intraepithelial neoplasia grade 1, vaginal intraepithelial neoplasia grade 1, and vulvar intraepithelial neoplasia grade 1. These lesions may be caused by infection with low-risk as well as high-risk HPV, which undergo the processes previously described in the life cycle of HPV. Low-grade lesions are characterized by mild morphologic changes to the epithelium. Lesion grading is based on the level of epithelial abnormalities. In CIN1, abnormal cells are concentrated in the basal third of the cervical epithelium. Papa Nicolau PAP testing can detect low-grade squamous epithelial lesions as mild abnormalities, but cannot predict their potential for malignant evolution. Approximately 35 to 40 percent of CIN1 is caused by HPV types 6, 11, 16, and 18. Condylomas, or warts, are benign lesions that can occur when expression of HPV proteins increases the frequency of basal cell replication and disrupts normal maturation of the squamous epithelium. All layers above the basal cells proliferate, leading to hyperplasia and an upwelling of the basement membrane. The visible abnormal growths composed of a thickened epithelium are recognized as genital warts. Genital warts are most often associated with HPV types 6 and 11. High-grade lesions are mainly caused by high-risk or oncogenic types of HPV, which can lead to the development of precancers or cancers of the cervix, CIN23, vagina, VAIN23, and vulva, VIN23. Most often, infection with high-risk HPV types is associated with integration of viral DNA into host DNA. Some infected cells overexpress early viral proteins, called E6 and E7, that extend the cell lifespans. These cells retain the capacity to proliferate, a process known as immortalization. Normal cellular mechanisms that protect cells from mutations are disabled. As mutations accumulate, the cells undergo morphologic changes that lead to the development of precancers or cancers of the cervix, vagina, or vulva. The HPV types 16 and 18 are estimated to cause over 70% of cervical cancer cases globally. 
Approximately 630 million people are infected with HPV worldwide. The annual incidence of low-grade dysplasias is estimated to be 30 million cases worldwide. Incidence and prevalence data for genital warts are more difficult to ascertain. Approximately 10 million cases of high-grade dysplasias occur globally each year. Worldwide, cervical cancer is the second most common cancer affecting women, and cervical cancer is the second leading cause of cancer death in women. Globally, approximately 500,000 women are diagnosed each year with cervical cancer. and almost 300,000 die from the disease. Despite the tremendous impact of screening on cervical cancer morbidity and mortality in developed countries, cancer remains an important medical issue worldwide, and warts and benign cervical lesions a significant medical burden.